Hello everyone in cyber world. It's time for another project, so let's get into it. Today's project is homemade, soup. What you may or may not know is that, canned soup, has a tremendous amount of sodium in it. Even the, so-called, healthy soups, are loaded with sodium. The nutrition labels are deceptive. They show a relatively low amount of sodium but when you look at the serving size and do the math, you will find that a single can of soup, often contains more than half, of your entire daily recommended amount of sodium. Making your own soup is actually extremely easy and versatile. The recipe I am providing is simply a base. As we go through this project, I will show how you can make adjustments to suit your tastes. The basic recipe is 2 cups of dried beans 8 cups of water 8 packets of no sodium soup base 2 bags of frozen vegetables spices preferably those without sodium and virtually any beef pork chicken or shellfish you wish to add begin by soaking your dried beans for at least 12 hours add water to a pot then add the soup base if you plan to use heavy spices then you need not use as many packets of soup base general rule is one cup of water to one packet next pour in your frozen veggies here is where you have tons of choices put in any kind of veggie that you want if you choose to use fresh veggies that is fine studies have shown that frozen veggies are often picked and flash frozen quickly after being picked which preserves more of the nutrients frozen veggies are mushy when prepared as side dishes but are perfect for soup next pour in your beans you can use any kind of bean that you want use a single type or mix and match for additional flavors to enjoy just be aware that darker color beans will make your soup a darker color the beans provide protein so you do not have to add any other protein if you choose not to add your spices use hot spices like red pepper chili powder jalapeno or curry powder as they provide lots of flavor but usually do not contain sodium i do use tabasco sauce but it does have sodium but when adding such a small amount of sodium in a huge pot of soup, it should keep the sodium contents of each serving, down to a minimum. Add your optional protein. You can add entire chicken breasts, diced meats, meatballs and even fish, but be very careful. Fish will break up very easily. I like to allow the fish to dissolve, just for the flavor to the soup. Cover and simmer around 60 minutes. You can undercook the soup because the plan is to make individual servings stored in Tupperware and frozen. They will need to be heated up when ready to eat, which means they will get cooked even more. I am sure all chefs will tell you that you need to sear your meats first, or cook vegetables to caramelize them, to bring out the flavors, and they are probably right, but I am a poor man, that does not have a sophisticated palate. And this method works extremely well, for me and my family. Put soup in individual containers and freeze. Whenever you want a quick meal, simply microwave and enjoy not only is this healthy but extremely economical depending on the protein you use each serving is probably around 50 cents i hope you enjoy if this doesn't get me a kiss then nothing will hey hun i got something for you O. M. G. Uh oh. What did I just do? No kiss. 